In this video, I will explain the property diagrams for phase change process. These diagrams are used to study the variation of properties during phase change processes. There are three types of diagrams to explain the phase change process. The first one is TV diagram. Before explaining the TV diagram, you must understand the heating process of water so when we start heating the water it is normally at 20 degree centigrade and it uh, when it reaches 100 degree centigrade it starts boiling so at the 100 degree centigrade temperature water starts boiling and it starts to convert into vapors during this stage, uh, when the liquid is converting into vapor, the temperature does not increase. You can see here, the temperature stays at 100 degrees centigrade. When the vapors, uh, the liquid is completely converted into vapors at this point 4, then the water temperature starts to increase and at this um, region we say that the vapors are now superheated and this is a superheated region so in the complete heating process of water the pressure is pressure was constant which was equal to one atmospheric so if we go to the next figure in like uh, you can see here so this figure shows us the heating process of water at different pressure levels these are the different pressure levels so this is the first line was the atmospheric pressure and the second line represents the pressure 10 times above the atmospheric pressure <coughs> the third line <coughs> sorry third line represents the pressure which is 100 times larger than the atmospheric pressure and you can see here that the boiling starts at the higher temperature this is the point where the boiling is starting and the, when we increase the pressure the boiling point is also increased so these diagrams help us to find the properties of a pure substance at different conditions and if we uh, keep on increasing the pressure you can see here there is no phase change process at the critical point there is no phase change process you can see the difference between these two curves there is a flat region which is a phase change process but there is on the above side uh, on the upper hand there is no flat region so the phase change process is now eliminated at the critical point at critical point the temperature is 373 degree centigrade and the pressure is 22.06 megapascal so critical point is the point at which the saturated liquid and saturated vapor states are identical so at the pressure above the critical point there is no distant phase change process so in the next uh, we are explaining the uh, TV diagram in this diagram a dome is shown in this dome is formed by saturated liquid line this is this line shows us the saturated liquid line solid line and the then the, there is critical point and the second line is saturated vapor line this line solid line is saturated vapor line and this dotted line shows us the these two dotted lines shows us the heating process of water at two different pressures this is p1 and p2 this uh, 
solid line is the heating process of water at one atmospheric pressure but these two dotted lines are heating process at two different pressures and you can see at this point <coughs> this is the boiling point of uh, uh, water and at this point the water is completely converted into vapors and beyond this point this is a superheated vapor region at which the vapor will exist the temperature at temperatures above 100 degree centigrade and if we increase the pressure from p1 to p2 the boiling point is also increased and and the, this flat region is the uh, phase change region in which the liquid and vapor coexist in in as a mixture in the second slide uh, i will explain the pv diagram the previous one was uh, tv diagram in which the pressure was constant but in the pv diagram the temperature is kept constant uh, temperature is kept constant by allowing the uh, this water to transfer heat to surroundings so if we are heating this water which is at 150 degree centigrade and uh, and its pressure is 1 megapascal and we, if we want to keep the temperature constant uh, we will allow the heat transfer to surrounding which will keep its temperature constant because amount of heat which is added to the system and with, uh, if uh, it is equal to the amount of heat which is rejected to the surroundings then temperature will remain constant and if we want to plot uh, a graph between pressure and volume we will have to decrease the pressure so we are decreasing the pressure on this piston by removing the weights and uh, it will uh, uh, decrease the pressure which will eventually increase its volume so in this way this pv diagram is formed uh, you can see here on the vertical axis there is pressure and on the horizontal axis there is volume and temperature is kept constant so these dotted lines shows us the constant temperature lines this is t1 uh, this is t1 and this is t2 <coughs> so uh, constant temperature lines are on the downward trend these are on the downward trend but in the previous slide you you have seen that the um, constant pressure lines were on the upward trend the rest is the same uh, this is the saturated this solid line is the saturated liquid line and this is the critical point and the, uh, the second line is saturated vapor line and uh, in the uh, middle and the flat region is the phase change process so uh, in the second diagram you can see a pv diagram uh, in which we have added the solid phase of water as well uh, you can see here on the uh, left side of this uh, dotted line there is a solid region then this is a solid plus liquid region and then there is liquid region and in this region uh, which is the phase change process in which liquid and vapor coexist liquid vapor and solid can coexist at the triple line triple line is the line at which all the three phases of a substance coexist and for example water water will exist in the solid phase liquid phase and vapor phase at 0 0.01 degree centigrade and 0.6117 kilopascal pressure so at this temperature and pressure the water will exist in the solid plus liquid and plus vapor state the third one 
is the PT diagram. In this uh, diagram, all the three states of a substance coexist. So you can see here that at the and this is the solid region this is liquid region and this is vapor region and the all three phases of a substance is shown on a pt diagram there is a new term explained in this diagram which is sublimation sublimation is a process in which solid phase is directly converted into vapor phase so all these three diagrams number one was pv diagram number two was pv diagrams and number three was pt diagrams are used to study the properties during a phase change process of a pure substance thank you